And it was amazing to me on draft night because you're in Chicago, you have your party, it's amazing. And honestly, I don't know if this story is true. I know I've heard you tell it, but... Why it ain't true? It's too crazy that okay, this so story is true. It. Let's talk about it. Someone comes up to you and says... It's my cousin okay. in the party. My cousin Antoine Wade, which you know Antoine. Mm -hmm. I do. Shout out to Antoine. He came up to me <laughs> and he said, bro, Michael Jordan is here. And I said, where is he at? You hadn't met him. You're no. a kid in Chicago who grew up watching the Bulls. Yes. And your cousin says, Michael Jordan says, Michael is jo here. So I think he's playing games with me. Yes. Right? So I'm like, where he at? Yeah. And he's like, he's outside. They won't let him in. Now I'm like, this, he's, right. he's like, bro, I'm not playing. <laughs> And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. so let's go. So mm -hmm. we being lined out the club. Right. Right? Right out the doors, it's a slew of motorcycles. And Michael Jordan is sitting right there on one of the motorcycles. I run right up to him like it was like seeing like a ghost. <laughs> and I run right up to him and he said, he was like, I just want to come and show you some love. Like he was, he was a little, I felt, he felt the way. All right. I don't know why they won't let Mike in. All right. He had 50 people with him probably. <laughs> oh, um, maybe. But, yeah, he was outside, he was on a motorcycle, mm -hmm. and he said, I was coming through to show you some love. Congratulations, you know, and the whole welcome to the NBA type of thing. And so I, that's a true story. That was my first time meeting Michael Jordan, and it was the coolest experience ever. He was sitting on a motorcycle looking cool as 